pooped it for a second then. Oh, man, episode 35. Yeah. Right, okay. So for some reason, the internet on this phone just died. I don't know why. Right, why does the... Um, just adding gifts. Ten roses, there you go. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, let's hope TikTok doesn't add all weird uh, doesn't go all weird today. Cool. Okay, so for those who don't know, I do a series where I draw a picture. Um, I'll wait for people to come in actually. I know. Excuse me. Excuse moi. So, yeah, drawing a picture with every single one of these. And today, we're on the 35th pen, so we are, where are we? Bubble Bath Pink, that's the one we're using today. We're on the pinks, so, that one there. Right, this could be a really bad pen, so we'll find out in a minute. A 187, is it this one? Oh, what a guess, first time. I've got no idea how this is going to look. This pen could be a heap of arse. It said chat is disabled for live stream. Maybe just weird seems to be up now. Also, hello. Oh, hello, Coop. Yeah, I, I don't know what was going on with that. Um, yeah, we're going through the pinks at the minute on this, on these pens. I think this could be a shit one. This could be one of the really bad uh, pinks. Guess we're about to find out. Let me just look it up. Is it here? Yeah, here we go. It is. <laughs> so I've actually drawn for those so it's this one here. So there's two pens that are terrible. So I don't even know if you can see them. But that's how bad the colours show up. Like that's the one I'm doing now. And then there's another one after it where it doesn't even register. But some of the early uh, yellow colours were like that. So maybe if I just kind of draw over it, it might, it might go well. But I don't know. I guess we'll wait and see. It's not, I mean, this isn't even the worst one, so. Yeah, this is just gonna have to be. A more basic drawing, like it's not really overly complicated, just kind of draw over what's already there. Yeah, I do remember one of my first uh, yellows it was really bad. Are you sure you want to do this one then? 
I mean, I, I don't know. We'll try. I mean, the only thing I can do on TikTok, I'll try and zoom in a bit. That's the best I can do, unless. Can I. Will that help? Again, maybe if I zoom in. Yeah, but I, I can't imagine many people on TikTok watching this, but. We'll try. We'll, we'll, we'll crack on. We'll see what happens. Maybe if I. That's just, it's, I've got to say, it's quite, I mean, if anything else, if anything else, Coov, then people can just come in and hang out for the chat, you know. There's not really much I can do about it. The, I might not, I'll, I might draw a picture with the other one, but I won't stream it. I think this is probably the limit. So the other really bad pink that I showed you, I'll still draw a picture with it and let you know and show it off to see how it turns out. Just to say that I've drawn one with it, because that is the goal, but I won't stream it. I'll stream the next one. I think this is probably the limits. Hi, Cleo. Thanks for joining. Um, so it's a drawing for those who aren't familiar. Where's me? Where's me folder? So I do a series every Friday where, to justify buying a load of pens that I bought, I, I'll zoom out, hang on. So I draw a picture with every single pen from a series uh, of pens that I bought. <clears throat> so just to justify having them. And for the most part, I mean, apart from the early yellows, like that one was a bit faint. Um, some of the early yellow pens were a little bit difficult, but as they've gone on, like you can actually see the pictures, but I've just got to a pink, and four of those on YouTube as well. I'm streaming this on YouTube. So you can act, you can kind of see what's been drawn, but I've finally reached the color. So this is called bubble bath pink, and it's really, really hard to see. Like I've tried to zoom in, and I've tried to kind of draw over sort of each stroke to try and highlight the colour a bit more, but I don't know if it's going to work. We'll make this, like I say, if you just want to hang out and stuff in the chat, because this, I, I don't really think there's much I can do with this. The the next one I won't be streaming. I, I can't. I mean, this is already a struggle, isn't it? Look at it. No, it's a fair point, Coop, to be honest. It, it it does make you think, is it worth streaming? Like, if people are coming here to watch me draw and they can't see what I'm drawing, it's an absolutely fair point. Like, I think I think all of us kind of talked about it, didn't we? Um, a few streams back when I mentioned it. Um, like I said, I think this is probably the limit. Like I will just race through this drawing. Like so if people want to hang out in the chat and stuff and all that, they can, but yeah, it's not it's not the best colour, is it? But the series is drawing a, a picture with every single pen, so that's what I'm gonna do. Admittedly, this will be one of the shorter streams because I'm just going to race through it. I have to say, though, that is a notch against Arteza. Like, to make a pen that you can barely see on the paper, What what's the point of it? So, yeah, like I say, I'll just race through this one.
I mean, it's not too bad on TikTok. It's now that I've zoomed in as well, it's not the worst, but you know, like I say, this is. It's not great, is it? But anyway, how, how's your week been, Coob? Anyway, you been up to much? Been a chill week, played a bunch of games. Nice. What games have uh, what games you've been playing? Yeah, it's it's not. Tried another new game that I hope to. Oh, nice. What was the uh, what was the game that you're playing? I don't think I've played anything. No, I've just been like I say jumping on Ocarina when I can and jamming on Clone Hero. I need to finish Breath of the Wild, but like I say, I'm just not massively enthusiastic about playing it at the minute. It's just. Mm. Which hurts me to say because I do love the Zelda series, but that game might go down as one of the most overrated games in history. It's a horror city game where you damage creep places. Interesting. Sounds like a a game designed for uh, for content. That one. What's it called? Oh, the game's called Content Warning. Sorry, I, sorry. When that when you originally posted that message, that heart was in the way, so I could only read a part of it. I sorry, I misread that as that because you wrote it as I hope to play some more with a friend called Content Warning. I thought your friend was called Content Warning. <laughs> sorry, that's me being an idiot. Completely misreading that. Like, I thought that was maybe your friend's gaming handle or something. Silly me. I think I might have heard the content warning. So did somebody, did that pop up on my For You page maybe yesterday, a day ago? Someone was playing that. Someone was making memes out of it, I think. No, you didn't write it, no, you didn't. No, it's all good. Uh, sorry, I'm Finn. Hey Finn, how's it going? Thank you for joining. Yeah, I remember. Thanks for thanks for popping in. Thank you for the likes as well. I'll apologise in advance for the rubbish colour today. Um, there is a colour after this that is worse than this, which I will not be streaming, I think. I think that is the sensible play. Yeah, that is unfortunately a knock against the brand of Arteza. Making pens is... I mean, it's not... 
like I mean, I'm looking at it now, and it's not too bad. I mean, I don't know how it's shown up on camera. You can see it a bit, but. Like I said, it's not, it's not the greatest colour, but what are we going to do? That's all good, my friend. Me reading it wrong like a plum. I'm drawing along a bit. See where it goes. Yeah, good man. It's been a while since I've seen one of your drawings. I don't think I'm going to bother doing any like intricate detail for this. I'm just going to do sort of shapes and and uh, just block in some empty space because there's not really much to do with this, is there? Uh, can you draw me a steak? I'm starving. <laughs> it will be the most cyberpunk steak you've ever seen, Adam. I think my kids downstairs are torturing each other. Obviously not IRL, they're playing TikTok, okay, playing. You gave me a warning last time for some nonsense. They're, my children are playing, I'm exaggerating. They're winding each other up as children do. Ta-da, how's it going, man? We've uh, finally reached the two nonsense colours. So this one... Uh... So is it... No, no worries, Finn. Thank you for popping in, even if it's just for a couple of minutes. I always appreciate it. That's why this one's a little bit zoomed in. I'm just back two seconds, everybody. I'm just going to go and get my drink. Tell my kids that.
Don't lose your mind, TikTok, I'm back. I know you. I know you get all funny when nothing happens for more than two seconds. Don't worry, TikTok, look, ooh, I'm here. Oh, I don't think I've listened to your newest one, Coop. I did see it pop up the other day. In fact, no, I saw it pop up uh, yesterday. I thought, oh, I need to have a listen to that. I'm just going to put the colour here, 187. Yeah, I can understand that, Cool. Like, if you, when you do something really good, you think, do you know what? I'm not going to get as good as that for a while. I'm trying to zoom in on the old TikTok stream to try and highlight the drawing a bit better, but... Yeah, this colour's a bit pooey, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not going to stream the next colour. I'll, I'll stream the one after it. It's mad though, like, where's the thing? So the colour I'm doing now is bubble bath pink. So this one here, right? I don't know if you can see it. So that's what I'm doing now. The next one, classic pink, right? So on this tin, which is where all the colours are, it looks darker. But then when you put it on paper, so what was that? 187 and 198. When you put it on the paper, this is how crazy this is. This is why, well, let's even take it out of the thing. So look, you can't see it. So the color I'm doing right now is this one, 187, and then the one under it, you can't even see, you can barely see the indent of it. It's crazy. Right, I don't know if you can see it better on YouTube, look. There's just no, There you go, move, move it there. You, can, you can't even see it. It's absolutely bonkers, isn't it? And then the one after that is what? A163. I want that A163, that is. What colour is that? Blush pink. And then we'll start, you know, still going through all the pinks, but then, then it's purples, then it's blues, then it's kind of blues and greens, then greens, then kind of over to greeny brownies, then browns and greys. But yeah, this one's going to be a quick one today, I'm not going to spend ages on it, there's no point.
Thank you for the like on YouTube. Appreciate that. And uh, yes, I agree with you, Dead Hand. Um, definitely, definitely in the long term, yeah, there's always, you know, there's never a limit. I just think Correct me if I'm wrong, Coop, what you're saying is like because you've done something really good now, it's like you can kind of be proud of that one, take a bit of time, knowing that you've done something good recently and just sort of uh, kind of get back into it when you feel ready to do it, I guess. You can ride the high off that one really good one. For a little while, knowing you don't have to you don't have to kind of rush to do another one. In a way, it's a bit bittersweet. Yeah, I suppose that's how the creative sort of process goes, isn't it? Got a nice stew to look forward to after this. Another reason why I'm kind of racing through it. I've kind of mistimed dinner today, so it's ready at a really awkward time. And I thought I could make dinner and then stream afterwards, but I thought, mm, I don't like streaming too late. I kind of lose enthusiasm for it and kind of think I just have to burn through it. I mean, I know I'm burning through it anyway, but I just prefer to get it done. And because I know this one's not going to be a really long one. Snack time, of course. Coob and his snacks. I always look forward to seeing what he's going to come back with. Stew is top tier food it is it's a sausage stew. So just a simple thing that the kids really like. It's just good old Cumberland sausage chopped up with onions and carrots, boatloads of seasonings, um, and I make it with uh, potatoes. So I'll chop up some potatoes, like chunky potatoes, add it to the stew when they're cooked. That's it. Just a one pot thing. I love food like that. It's one of my favourite things to make. And because the cuisine, the cuisine has to be kind of geared around what the kids like, it's something they really enjoy. So, yeah, I really like dinners like that. Yes, a sausage stew. Yum, 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 yum. It's 
It's a real shame this because I'm starting to really like the drawing itself. Its shelf itself. It's just I keep harping on about the colour. It's just guff in it. It's actually not even a, a bad colour. It's just so faint. Like I, I don't know why. I don't know why it's like that. Like I say, the colour itself is actually not bad at all. It's just the way that it's put down on the paper, it's just not... It's just not very visible. Yeah, Sausage Chew is elite tucker, I think. It's one of my favourite things to have. And like I said, the kids very much enjoy it. I think I said this last time that um, with my black book drawings, uh, I'm going to get to number 50 because they're some of my favourite drawings to actually do and they seem to be the ones that attract the most attention in terms of people wanting prints of them. So when I get to number 50, I'm going to use a different sketchbook. Um, just a plain paper sketchbook and I'm going to use the dot grid underneath as like a a guide under it just to make it easier to print I think um, just to scan and print and I might start doing on Mondays I might start doing two streams a day because they're genuinely one of my favourite things to draw um, so I think I'm going to change it up around there but I've done I think I've done about seven scans I think my goal was ten and I've done seven. I did a few yesterday. I haven't had time to do any today. I might do. A f I might try and get the ten done over the weekend. Get the prints done, and then next week, with no hiccups, that's when I can actually get the shop up. So exciting times! It's taken longer than I wanted, but such is life. Eh? The important thing it's done, and then I can start. Looking into new projects that I wanted to start. I can start streaming my original pieces again. Because I really want to get back into them. They were the things I was doing in the week. Guff. <laughs> yeah, guff. Smelly farts. I'm back. What you got, Coob? Hit me with it. What, what have we got? What snackage? What delicious treats do we have? More substantial than a snack. A chicken wrap. Nice. And Fanta Lemon Zero. That is that's some damn good tucker right there. I'd be all over that. I was just telling Dead Hand about the sausage stew that I made for myself and the farm.
there. God, it's one of those weird colors. Like, I'm looking at this color now, and it looks kind of okay. Like, it looks fairly vivid, but through the cameras, like on TikTok, it's a bit meh. And on YouTube, even though I've zoomed in, it's also just a bit eh. This is one of the strangest colors that I've ever sort of used. Like, it looks so different. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's not one of the best. I've started to get the itch for um, making a, uh, a shoot 'em up game. Like, I really want to make one. Um, I think I show. I think I have shown you guys before. Like, I started messing about with. Uh, making a video game a while ago <coughs> but the program that I use to make that um, construct it's it doesn't exist in its current form it's like a subscription based thing now and it's quite expensive and like it wouldn't be worth me buying that for the amount of time that I get to use it um so I might kind of do it I know like the process of a video game but with a game like that the best way would be to kind of do all the complicated shoot 'em up bits you kind of use just a placeholder um for all the cody stuff and then you kind of make the art assets afterwards but what i might do is i might do all the art assets first um When I've got a bit more cash flow from this, then look into maybe getting Construct or another program similar to that, and then making a game. There was one called uh, FP. Was it is it Shmup Creator on Steam? But I've heard kind of mixed things about it, so I'm not entirely sure. I don't know, I'll think about it. I've heard good things about a program called Godot. Did I download that? That does sound familiar. Let me just check in my programs. That sounds familiar. No, oh my God, are you joking me? Right, bear with me one second, someone's at my door. One second, can I pause this at the right? Oh my god. Right, one sec. Amazon package, are you kidding me? 
it's a bag that was ordered for my son. I swear to God, every time I go live, everyone, the whole world waits for me to go live and then they start calling me or knocks at the door. It's happened loads recently. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, Jeff. Okay. Oh, it's such a shame. I actually really like this drawing as well. Oh, dearie me. Never mind. Uh... Yeah, no, it wasn't Godot. It was something else. I I'm sure I've heard of Godot, though. Like, get, like I thought maybe Game Maker. We started learning that at uni for a bit. But anything that's too code-heavy, just to just know. The, the reason I like Construct so much was because it was the, the code was packaged into a button. So you could just uh, like connect the buttons and do it that way. But anything that's got any sort of coding... Is just a no-no for me because it's like I don't like it. I'm not good at it. It's just a whole new skill set to learn that, quite frankly, I cannot be asked to learn. Um, and if that means that I'm not going to make a video game, then so be it. I can accept that. But like I said, there are sort of other ways that you can do it that I have seen. But yeah. But yeah, I remember struggling at uni with Game Maker. Game Maker was one of those programs I thought well, this is what we should be learning at uni because I struggled with it and it kind of encapsulates everything about designing and making a game. But instead, we were just learning out of model 3d shapes in Maya and 3ds max and I thought this is just a waste of time this well no that it, no it's not a waste of time but I would say the amount of time we spent doing that because you weren't like the creative part of the course was just being lost in that I thought this is just you're telling us it is a building or a chair go and model that and it's like well You know what I mean? It's expected a bit better than that, you know? So better than yeah it's not too bad like i think because i've kind of gone over it a lot like it's kind of like i said earlier it's really strange that, that i'm watching it now through youtube and it looks fainter than it actually is like it's really really strange like i'll zoom out a little bit oh my phone's starting to heat up a bit <laughs> there you go that's it it's so like i'm i can't describe it it's one of the few colors where looking at it through my own eyes it looks quite vivid but it looks really pale on the screen like the number for example i can clearly see every line on the a187 but on the like through youtube you can barely see the one but i can see it really clearly as i'm looking at it it's not many other colours have done that. It's a, it's a bit of a strange one, you know? But we persevere, don't we? We get on with it. But no, I think you, you, you bang on Coob about the next colour. What's it called? What's it called, like? Basic bitch pink. What was it? Classic pink. 
is what it was called, Classic My Ass. Yeah, after, like I say, after I've done the pinks, I'm pretty sure, I know, I think there's one blue that's really faint, but it's not as faint as this. In fact, I can see that blue from here. Yeah, I think every single colour after this one is, you, we're all right. We're all right. Flipping Amazon turning up on my door when I'm streaming, I swear. I'm going to get a phone call as well next, I bet you. Someone's going to ring me. It's usually Vodafone. Someone telling me, oh, we can increase, you know, we can give you a better deal than what you've got. And it's like, can you really, though? Can you? Are you even really from Vodafone? I bet you're not, are you? Fifty minutes in. Yeah, like I said, about an hour to an hour and a half I'll be spending on this one, not loads. So one of the reasons is obviously the colour, another reason is I've kind of slightly mistimed my dinner. So I kind of need to prioritise that. Sugar, 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 sugar. Let's go up this way a bit. I know, I won't be <laughs> yeah, because I'm using both phones now. I can't, I can't go and check stuff in the middle. Oh well, I suppose I can. I can have a quick peek. Oh shh, as I let me take everything off my desk again. I suppose I can go and have a quick look on my computer. Let's have a look. Dude, that's class. Look how clean that is. Yeah. Again with the it's the it's, it's the background that kind of does it. And like the layering of your shapes as well as 
and how you've done the 3D effect, it's uh, top notch. Yeah, let me move that because it's. What's. What's that? What's casting the shadow there? Is it the phone itself? Am I being stupid? I am confused. I do not know. Yeah, no worries, man. It's a quality piece of work. <laughs> no worries, man. Thank you for liking it. Appreciate it.
Yeah, we are burning through this picture. Maybe I need to do that more often. Like, I think... I have said this before about my own work, where I maybe have been a bit too slow, a bit too over-analytical, would be the right word. Overthinking it. Like, that was the whole point of the Black Book series, where I just kind of went... <clears throat> but there's been a couple of times where I've just been a bit too slow. And it's maybe hurt the picture sometimes, but... Yeah, I think... Excuse me. After... Um, after the 50th one. I'll call that, like, series one. And then... Um, I'll get a new sketchbook and what I'm going to do is I'm going to scan all of them in and I'm actually going to release that one as a book. I'm going to do 50 pair. I'm going to do 50 pieces of that. And I'll scan them. Yeah, I think I might do that. Sorry, I'm just thinking. Depends if you feel it or not. Yeah, it's a, it's a strange one, I think. It's like, like on Monday when I thought, shall I try this, shall I not? And like I said, the idea is that it was a bad... I mean, I've said this a thousand times on Monday, didn't I? Like, it was a bad... Um, it was a bad time to do that kind of detail. But yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'll get a new sketchbook. And I might put a, a bit more time into that one. Just because I really like working in just black ink, I really like just drawing with that, just one colour. It's one of my favourite things to do. And I'll see if there's a way, I'm sure I can, like if I can edit the videos down into a time lapse. Like I say, one being just to get more content. Like if people don't want to follow the full thing of this, then they can watch a two minute short version of it. Yeah, I'll, I'll look into that. Like I say, after after the shops up, I'll, I'll start looking in more into taking advantage of the sort of tools available to me around streaming. I'm sure you can. I'm sure you can edit videos down that you've already uploaded. I'm sure you can. Simple black is crisp, but yeah. Yeah, and like I say, the, that ske the sketchbook I got, um, or the sketchbook that I'm doing those black book drawings in, like I didn't really look into the paper. I just wanted a, I, again, it was a birthday present to myself years ago. And I just wanted to have a sketchbook to mess around in. Um, and I stopped kind of using it. So I thought, well, I'll use a, You know, but I'll think of a reason to actually go back and use it again. And oh, here we go. TikTok back with its "Are you a robot?" thingy. Um. Yeah, but I think if I can find a, <clears throat> because the it's kind of strange. Like the the Rodia paper that I use, this stuff is great because it's really it's a bit thinner, but it's really smooth. Um, but the sketchbook. So this is the black book sketchbook that I've got. It's thicker paper, but it's quite, when you feel it, there's like a, a roughness to it. Um, 
so like it just doesn't look the same like uh like sometimes the the ink can ever so slightly bleed because of the type of paper that it is um again i'm not sure if the paper was intended for this kind of drawing um but if say if say this sketchbook had kind of this kind of paper um then I, I don't know it's hard i'll have to research it a bit more like i'll have to find the exact excuse me the sort of best paper to use for it you know i don't know i'll think of something i will use the money from the first print that I sell to buy that new sketchbook. And I have decided, I have locked it in, that every single print will be £20. And the reason being is because they are original drawings. So I didn't just do the, you know, they take a, they take a good one to two hours. Um, so I think that's makes it a little bit more valuable but obviously the prints themselves bring it down um so yeah but i might i might do i mean that book that i've just shown you there i might turn that into a book to sell but i, th I think i want the quality of drawings that i'm going to do in the new book to be a lot higher so maybe because the original point of that book that I've just shown you was a bit more free, you know, just a bit more scribbly, a bit more random, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> but I've enjoyed doing those drawings so much. And I think I could get some really good pieces out of them. <sighs> that I think I am going to just be a little bit more kind of methodical about them uh, when I get the new sketchbook. I want them to be really high quality. I don't want them, I don't want there to be the odd shit one because I've kind of experimented I, I want that to be I want every single drawing to be high quality um so yeah and I'll make a book out of it as well yeah I'm doing it boys I'm doing it decided right now just now Exclusive, first to hear it. He's like, oh, thank you. I think 15 of it would be good, yeah. Um, it, I, I don't know. I, I think I'm just going to play it by what I sell. So, because there's going to be so many drawings, I don't think it would make sense to have, like, Ten prints of fifty separate drawings. I think that's maybe a bit much, but I don't know. I, I, it's because it's cost, isn't it? It's like the ink and the paper that's going to be the cost. So, like I said, I think starting off with ten. So I'll do two prints of ten. So there'll be twenty prints at first because that's a kind of nice, sensible number. I'll see how they sell. If they go relatively quickly, or people start asking for more then I can reprint some of them it's, it's because the ones in that book like I say they weren't originally intended to be prints but because I got so many people asking I thought okay I'll start making prints of them um, so I think what I'll do is I'll see how well the 10 that I've picked I'll see how well they sell And if, say, I get like a decent, if I start getting a steady income, a steady stream of money coming from those prints, I might always have like one or two available. So when they run out, I can just print off another couple and they'll be ongoing, if that makes sense. Um, and if there, if there are certain drawings that aren't selling as well, I might kind of, I can kind of bundle them up. Um, I could even do like 
I don't know how I'd implement this, but say I could have every drawing up available that I have sold. And I could have people kind of check a box saying, would you like to purchase this? And if enough people purchase that one picture, I can do a set of prints for them. I, I don't know. Even if just, but then again, even if just one person asks for one print, I, I mean, I could just print it off, couldn't I? Or I could even do, say if I have 50 drawings up, just have someone tag the drawing and say, I want to buy this, tag it. And it's like, right, I can print it off for you. And Because printing it off here can take two seconds. I could just do that. Like, if you want to print, just order it. I could print it and send Yeah, just do that. I'm an idiot. I'm not an idiot, but I, I don't know. I'm just... Yeah, I'm new to this, so I'm kind of thinking... I could do this. Yeah, just every print that I, that's available. Say, even if, even if there's 100 different drawings available, because they're prints and I'm printing them at home, just tag it. Just say, I want to buy a print of this. It's like, no worries. I can print it out as soon as the tag's up. And send it away. Easy peasy. So yeah, what I'll do is I'll just put every single drawing that people can buy, I'll just put up. And so there you go, when you want one, just tag it or press press on it. And I'll I'll print it off for you. Because I don't because those ones I don't have to send away. Someone did ask for an A3 print of one. That might be a bit more difficult. Uni, how's it going, man? Good to see you. I'm just thinking out loud about how I want to um, how I want to sell the prints because Dead Hand asked the question, um, and I'm kind of I don't know. I'm kind of jumping back and forth between how I'm going to do it. I don't know. Yeah, this the drawing itself I actually really like. Um because this is kind of like the original kind of style that I did, wasn't it? Um so I'm able to draw this kind of one a bit quicker. I do really like it. And it is it's not the worst colour at all. It, it the colour is actually quite good. It's like I say, it's just the way that it's gone down on the paper, it's just It's just annoyingly faint. That's the only thing. Just put my thing down to do do. Yeah, I mean, I've tried to make it look as visible as possible by going over the lines, but I don't know, there's not, there's not much else I can do, really. It's, it's an odd colour, I'll say that. Like, it's quite a bright pink, but like I say, it just doesn't go down on the paper very well. Which is a little frustrating, but can't do anything about it, can we?
take of Rocket Sounds. <laughs> Have a good one, Coop. Enjoy Rocket League. Thanks again for popping in. I'm just trying to make space on my phone. But yes, I have decided, back to what I was saying earlier, £20 per print is what I'll be doing. I may even do a book of all these eventually. Um, like I said, it's because this was just kind of a bit of fun, just to stream and, and mess about with. It's not... 100% prioritised, but yeah, I might, um, I'd have 120 pictures to edit, which would be fun, but yeah, I, I, I might do, I might do a book of these eventually. Like sell it for a tenner or something. How long have we been at this? An hour 15, yeah, we're coming to the end of this one. There's not a whole lot more I can do with this. But what do you think, though, lads? Do you think, um... oh, hey, dead hand in the, the old tickening of tokening? Oh, yeah. It's been quiet in TikTok today. But yeah, what do you reckon? Um... Do you think a book would be a good idea? the thing though when you've got loads and loads of ideas rattling around and you think oh I'd love to do this or I'd love to do that like I still really want to make a game but I need to just call it on that get this kind of stuff done first like I need to start I need to have like a certain number of things that are just going to be ongoing so the the black ink sketchbook um when this series finishes I've got another set of pens that I'll use um, and I'll do that as well um, and the original pieces like they'll just be ongoing things but in the background like I can work on other things as well it's mad isn't it like how different it looks like I've zoomed in a bit I think but but I think the um, I think the maximum resolution on um, TikTok is 1080 in it I think it's 1080. I'm not sure. So even with the that's why I don't bother using my Google Pixel for it because it's 4K. But I'm not going to get any use out of it. Um, that's why I tried using my webcam. But the problem is with the webcam, it's not good for the one I've got. It's it's nice when it's kind of at a distance. So like when I'm streaming my games and the face cam's on, it's fine. But when you try and zoom in with stuff like this, it just looks crap. Um. But, uh, yeah. 
But no, thank you for the um, the likes as well. I, pre I do appreciate it. Yeah, does uh, the likes apparently do get more attention over to TikTok? Um, it hasn't seen, it doesn't seem to have worked at the minute, but. Books would be great. Yeah, I think that's something I'll look into in the future. But anyway, how have you been, Uni? Um, you've had a good week? I don't know if I asked you that already. Had the shed. Yeah, we, are, we are nearly done with this one. I don't think I'm going to bother doing any real detail. I mean, I, I suppose I could, I guess. I don't know. Would you say what would you say, Dad? And is does it look clearer on YouTube or TikTok? It looks. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. Because it's it's not a fantastic color, is it? Or yeah, like I say, it's just not gone down well on the page, is what I mean. Yeah, I'm not going to bother detailing it. I, I ain't really got time. I'll do a couple of background lines, maybe. I don't know. Much clearer on YouTube, but then again, uh, yeah, that kind of makes sense, I guess. Kind of hard to tell for me. I think what I'm going to do... I'm going to play this old school. That's a bad line. Barely visible. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's that's that's why I've not really made a huge effort with this one. Like I said, like like I say, the drawing itself I actually quite like. I think it's turned out quite nice, but the colour just hasn't gone down well. And I was saying to the lads that the next one is even worse. It's that one that I showed you before where it's called Classic Pink. Um, 
um, yeah, I'm not I'm not going to be streaming that one at all. There's no point. I'll draw a picture with it because that's the whole point of this series is to draw a picture with all of them. But I won't be streaming it. I just I don't know what what the point of it would be because it'd be worse than this one. After these two pinks, though, everything else everything else is fine. Um, may I ask something? Yeah, go for it. Thank you for popping in. Ask away. Uh, I'll drop it down here. Feel free to ask anything you like. But yeah. Is... I don't know, that's all bleeped out. I don't know what it says. Why is it bleeped? Can you read that dead hand? What does it say? I'm pretty sure I haven't restricted anything. I don't, I don't know why. Does TikTok not allow swear words on the old chat? Is it a bit sensitive like that? Is it something hilarious? It's lighter than usual. Yeah, it's, mm, it's all right. Um, yeah. I'm curious what they asked. It's all blurred out. Uh, what's what's your name? It's just a heart and heart and a uh, heart symbol with the hand. Is M um, star 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 normal? I'd love to know what you asked, but for some reason TikTok's not letting me read it. It's a crying shame. Get this done. I think they did it themselves to get you to talk about stuff that would get you banned. Nice one. quite understand the point of that but whatever whatever floats your boat don't quite understand why you'd put something that I couldn't even guess what it's supposed to say if you'd have turned up on Monday then it might have worked, but after that, I'm a bit more cautious. Don't want to go there, don't want to go there, I'll go here. So 
was it someone on TikTok being hilarious, was it? I think they were asking if you were doing an act on yourself. Oh, okay. It's a bit of a tame word to get you banned, isn't it? Was the if is doing a hand solo normal? Perfectly. Perfectly normal. Again, I don't know why he'd bleep that out. I don't know why he'd ask it, but... This is the internet. TikTok be weird, yeah. Well, it's anywhere, isn't it, really? We had that guy jumping here. Sharing his uh, his skills. And then scurried away. And it's like, all right, nice one. Right, I think I'll leave that there. An hour and a half, that was a nice speedy one. It's a shame because, like I said, it's, it's, if it was a different colour and if it was maybe, if I had like a a bit more time, like if I'd have planned my dinner a bit better, I would have expanded that out and made that drawing a bit bigger, but it's all right. And like I say, I'll do, um, where is this dog poo colour? What's it called? Classic pink. Is it 198? Is it? is it one of these two, surely? Yeah, so this is the one that's next in line. Um, like I say, it barely shows up. So I'll just do. I'll just draw a picture with this one away from away from stream, just to see what, how it turns out, and I'll show it to you the next time. But um, yeah, I'll not stream with this one. The next one I'll be streaming with is blush pink. One six three. Where's that? It will be if I can find it. All right, one six. That one. There you go. That's the next one. I'll be streaming with. So I hope to see you all for that. Maybe try it on different paper. May yeah, maybe. Um, maybe the sketchbook I do my my black ink ones in. It might work better in there. In fact, let's just have a look at it, actually, just quickly, whilst we're here. I'll do it on a page. Um, so the drawing I don't care about. I am tempted to do a print of maybe these two. Just think on. Somewhere where Yeah, well we'll try it here because I've done some pinks. Ugh. Like even there, look at that. You can barely see it, look. So I, I don't get it. I don't get why they'd kind of release it as a colour. Yeah, there's no chance I can do a stream of that one. Look at it. Yeah, I don't think the paper matters. It's just, it's just a crap colour, isn't it? Uh, which one? The yellow one. Where is it? That one. Yeah, I need to do more like that. That's a, 
I do like that one. But if I if I print this one, um, I'll remove that and I'll put my little JB mark sort of in there. I think that's probably the only thing I'd change. But yeah, cool. Right, I'm gonna leave that there. I'm gonna go and feed myself and the children. Um, that was a nice little uh, quick stream, though. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, even though. Like I said, did what I could with that colour. Sorry, I was out for a bit. No worries. Why get banned? Um, the question you asked, that I couldn't see what the word you typed was. Oh, my back. Oh, my God. Has I nearly fall over? Jesus. Jesus. But yeah, I nearly got banned last week. Not last week, Monday. Or I got a warning for calling a horrible man a horrible name from a band that he used to be in. But that's the finished piece. I hope you all like it. I'll be back on stream Monday. Sorry I was out for a bit. I, you don't know. Sorry you have other accent and it's hard to hear it. Okay. But um, yeah, I, I don't know what question you were att 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 attempting to ask me. The word was blurred out. I don't know why. But if you like the stream, drop a like, uh, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. That's the finished piece. Like I said, the drawing itself I quite like. It's just a shame the colour doesn't show up particularly well on camera. But the next one um, will be a lot better. Um, I'll try and stream maybe, I'll do a gaming stream Sunday, no, I'm, no I, don't, I can't, I'm not here Sunday, Saturday, if, I might stream some Zelda tomorrow, um, but I'll be back with a Black Book drawing on Monday, so I hope to see you all there, thank you all again for uh, stopping by, have a great weekend.